Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, Uzuki-chan Season 2 has finally finished releasing the dub, so I quickly binge-watched that. And it was definitely a step up from Season 1. There was some progress in this season, and I just want to share my thoughts and, you know, my opinions on this season. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, at the beginning of the, like, the first episode, we see some kind of, like... Um, fast forwarding to something that happens like um, to the second to last episode like around episode 12 some kind of Christmas thing and it shows them like hugging or something it's it's a little weird but uh, it just shows that some progress was made between the two so there's this funny scene with um, Sakurai falling asleep and then Uzuki kind of falls asleep like right in his arms for some reason, and then everyone takes pictures, you know, it's kind of like they're dating already at this point, um, then we get to just, we see them, you know, doing the daily stuff they do, like, you know, talking, going to lunch, you know, cooking with Uzuki's mom, just, uh, hanging out, basic stuff, um, then we get to the school festival episode, and there's a little progress done there, because they go to, this fortune teller, and she basically tells them, like, why the hell aren't you dating already, you know, you're perfect for each other, and, yeah, it's very obvious, you know, to everyone in the show, but, um, then after that, there's, like, some weird scene with Uzuki's mom, you know, doing the weird thoughts, thinking that, you know, he wants to be with her and her daughter, I don't know, but, uh, it leads to, um, uh, Sakurai calling Uzuki's mom by her first name, and she gets a little jealous, and then something happens, like, you know, at the cafe. Um, then, this is where the, the story kinda got interesting, because we get introduced into Uzuki's, the rest of her family, and yeah, they're very, very cool, bro, like, the, like, it's kind of a subplot, because Sakurai, decides to go to the gym to keep his mind off of Uzuki because, you know, it's gotta be mad annoying. So, Sakurai starts training at the gym with, you know, a personal trainer, but it's ac actually Uzuki's dad. So, they go on and off talking about, you know, his daughter's, his daughter likes this guy, and then, you know, Sakurai likes this girl. So, it we, it's very interesting, to be honest. It's already better than season one was. Um, then, uh, we see Uzuki making a bento for Sakurai. Just some more, you know, basic stuff. Uh, we also get introduced to, um, his fa to her family. So, we see her sister, na her name is Yanagi. And she's got, like, these long, long bangs to where you can't see her eyes. You know, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um. Her brother's very badass, bro. He's like, he's 17, he wants to train. Um, he's interested in college girls, you know, he's he's a very cool comic relief character. And then, like I said, the dad's just a very interesting character overall for the story. So, then, uh, after Uzuki and Yanagi make the, ben the bento for Sakurai, uh, she goes to the cafe, and she's trying to basically pull Sakurai to get, um, uh, Uzuki to start doing stuff, and it just leads to them calling each other by their first name, so it's a little scene to throw in there. Then, one of the most funniest scenes of the whole season was that, um, Uzuki's brother, Kiri, he goes to the gym, and he's trying, it's bas basically having, like, a workout competition with Sakurai, because he's trying to look cool and boost his morale and stuff. But Sakurai's a college kid. You know, he's a senior in college. He's an excellent swimmer. He's, you know, good at everything there. So there's a whole thing where they're ra they're racing each other in the pool. And he's like, damn, you know, I can't beat this guy. So then he gets out and he's like, alright, you know, I'm done for the day. And <laughs> he sees Sakurai naked. And, bro, it's, like, he gets pure PTSD over seeing Sakurai shrimp, bro. It's just, it's funny as hell. Uh, then this leads to the beach episode, and Kiri doesn't go because he has PTSD 
over the whole thing, you know, because they're going to the, to a beach, or not a beach, a, a swim kind of thing, like a, a water park, and he's like, hell no, I'm not going by no pools for, for a while, uh, you know, we get the classic fan service with, you know, the three Uzuki girls, and then, you know, Fujio's very funny, he's like flexing for the, for all the people there, because they're like, bro, how, your, your physique is crazy, you know, we're trying to get like you, my boy, so, uh, then after that, we, we see Sakurai's family, and this season is basically focused around, um, family, because we get introduced to them, you know, um, Uzuki's family and Sakurai's family, and that's basically the plot for this season. Uh, so, Sakurai, we find out why Sakurai wasn't close with his family. It's because the dad was, like, telling him to stay away so he can be close with the mom alone. And it's, we find out that Sakurai is a baby sister named Nodoka. Uh, and she's, you know, she's very cute and stuff. And Sakurai's just like, holy shit, I got a sister I didn't even know about, you know. And he's fighting with his dad and stuff because the reason Sakurai was a loner is because of his dad. Because his dad said, you know, stay out of the house and, you know, make your own friends, be more independent. And he was already independent on his own. Uh, then, like, some crazy badass stuff out of nowhere. Sakurai and his dad start sparring, like, judo-type stuff. And it was actually, like, you know, a cool fight. Um, like, fights in these types of shows, they're kind of rare, but when they do happen, you know, I really do enjoy them because it's something different than the basic stuff we get. So I really like that. Um, and then while this is happening, Uzuki's just drinking with um, Ami and uh, Sakaki talking about Sakurai because that's all they do. They talk about each other behind their back, saying that they like, I don't know, not saying that they like them, but they have a problem with each other. It's very, very annoying. Uh, then we get to the Christmas episode, and this is where we see Sakurai finally realize that, you know, his personal trainer was actually the girl he likes, dad. So that was just a very, hu you know, perfect twist for this season. It was very interesting. Like, after each episode, you wanted that to happen. So, obviously, you know, Fu Fujio is very mad. He's like, you know, I don't want my baby girl dating anyone. But then he's like, holy crap, this is the guy that, you know, actually, like, he's like a son to me, basically. You know, he lets me, he lets me spot him. You know, he seems like a good kid, but then he realized, like, oh, crap, I was talking about my daughter to my clients. That's pretty weird, so, you know, don't say nothing. And then they kind of make a big deal out of it, like, you know, uh, Sakurai needs to drink to forget about it. It's like, just don't say nothing, you know? Um, it, it just seemed like they made it more of a deal, a big deal than it was. Uh, then there's this stupid thing where, so like, um, Uzuki and her sister and the mom undress, um, Sakurai into his underwear and start taking pictures of him. It's just basic drunk stuff, I guess. Uh, then, at then, um, once, you know, the dad comes back, he brings Sakurai home with Uzuki, and this is where we get that thing that we've seen at the beginning of the, um, second season where... Sakurai is basically cuddling with, you know, Uzuki, and that's where we think, you know, they're dating already, you know, that, like, this is it, you know, they finally, because that's the point of these romance animes, for the two main characters, you know, to see how they get close and stuff, um, so, no, Sakurai was just drunk, and he was, you know, gonna do something, but he passed out, you know, I don't know, just basic stupid stupid stuff, um, then, you know, they go to the New Year's Shrine thing, they do this in, like, you know, almost all these animes, like, in, in Komi Can't Communicate, and, uh, in Nagatoro, uh, My Dress Up Darling, those types of things, um, so then, we're thinking, we're gonna get something now, because Sakurai needs a prep a uh, prep talk, from, you know, the cafe guy and then his friend, he's like, you know, I like her. I have feelings for her. What do I do now? 
So he goes up, right? He's watching fireworks with, with the girl. He completely sells the bag and decides to just hold her hand, you know? And it's like, you just, bro, you just gave us a third season for no reason, you know? It was, ve- it, it sucked because it's like, it seemed like a lot of progress was being made, but they kind of baited us at the end. But it was a very good season overall. I loved, you know, like the two dads were the things that made it the best. Like Sakurai's dad, he he was very badass. You know, the fight scene too, that was really cool. Um, And then Uzuki's dad being like a gym bro, that, you know, those types of characters are very badass. You know, there, there was a lot of focus on training and fighting and you know family basically so it was it was a decent season the ending kind of sucked you know now we gotta have another season which i mean i don't care uh i'm not sure how much there's gonna be left um maybe a, a, a another season even another you know even another two seasons but we'll see the manga is still going on uh yeah so please comment down below what do you guys you know, what are your thoughts on the on these new characters, this new season? Uh, yeah, so it's uh, Vanessa's J. Benj. Peace.